right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Oh, Elkins boy. is oh. 16 years the elder. The rest of the numbers yeah, are put him out his misery. identical. This will be his last fight right here. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Anderson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 25 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at a Portage, Indiana, USA, Darren the Damage Elkins. It's a stupid ass tattoo. I have on you. I have on you got the damn chest. draws the assignment here. Ready to go for round one, and this young man's popularity oh. absolutely soared on the stretch. Right. What he did his last time out, it was a win by flush knockout, kept his winning streak intact with style points, and now the challenges get decidedly more tougher. We'll see if he can keep the momentum going in what is unquestionably Ooh. the biggest spot of his UFC career. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. Oh, he busted open. Oh, there's a oh. takedown attempt. Unable to get <laughs> the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown. But now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three. Oh, bitch. Time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process. <laughs> Kicked him in the back. Left-right combo is good. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative. Okay, yeah, starting to check. Great job of really oh, shit. With activity. Big liver kick lands oh, on oh, shit, he got me. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Okay, I could have swore I got this new perk that helps me get up. Anderson gets back up again. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Kick to the body by 
Where's my spinning? All right. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Oh, if you wouldn't Boxing. lean back, that would have been your ass. All right, I need to start checking these kicks. Nice head kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Joy, back. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of. Better him than nope. me. Right, so he oh, the no, 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 no. Oh, oh, my God. He told us before the fight, at some point, Get up. I'm going to be able Get to up. take him down. And Get that's up. exactly the way it played out. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Just got to hold him off. Round two next. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks. Okay, I probably won. Then I got that recharger perk, so I get more health back. Right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the after previous each round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so oh. educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult Ooh. time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, I could move for a second. What the fuck? Beautiful kick. Uppercut counter by Elkins. Fucking missed. Oh, spinning back. Ooh. Wow, huge head kick. That one just turned to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard, or this is going to be double leg shot. Oh, shit. Slam him down to the ground. Well done. That was the hardest I've been thrown. Pony, got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking for the Fucking hate fighting wrestlers. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to what? slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. I need to go through that goddamn takedown tutorial again. A lot of confidence when it happens that like I don't remember how to like defend it. What now will stop him from doing it over and over? Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Beautiful body kick. Yeah, boy busted open bad. Cable inches right nope. there, boy. I seen that one coming. Huh. It was good night at that lane. Oh, oh. Vicious combo there. Back to the feet. 20 seconds to go round two. All oh, collar tied. And some nice nope. defensive work. Got you, ass. This dude tough. God damn. Then on a little scouting report thing, it said he's really good at hiding when he's hurt. Pretty sure I've heard him plenty of times. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a lot of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Wow. Oh, my God. So fucking annoying. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Oh, big head to land. Nice punch by Anderson. <laughs> yes. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. Get that boy out of here. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, let's re the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too. In his Bro, it's hands. like all of my big toe connected, but never enough. Punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. And the funny thing is, it's only going to get harder. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of How many takedowns did he have? That done tonight. Boy, had five takedowns. <laughs> but I stopped three. So that's good. And I was about 50% on my strikes. But it's good. I had a leg health event? Huh. Maybe that wake up call came in handy because it lets me recover like way faster. So I didn't even notice. Contract. Okay. Um, let me see. Complete first round finishes. Uh, I'll fight with peak fitness. Okay, I can do that one. Not sure if I read that wrong, but Khabib lost. Wow. Before I reveal who I'm gonna fight next, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you like what you like, leave leave a like. If you got anything to say, leave it in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, I don't know why, but you should. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here, and y'all have a good day.